I'm here in Washington, D.C. to advocate for both myself and all of the patients that are on dialysis, which is a growing problem in the U.S., and to um, ask for the endorsement and the funding to stay the same for S, uh, bills S598 and HR 1130. Especially important is the one that asks for Medicare Advantage to be part of the um, capabilities of everybody that's on in, uh, Medicare based on end-stage renal disease by itself. I was asked in January to change just to Medicare because of end-stage renal disease and my, I would no longer have any capability of having a secondary insurance. That was going to take me off the transplant list because when I investigated that with the financial advisor at the hospital, they told me that they would not transplant somebody that did not have a secondary insurance, number one. And at UMC in Nevada, they said that you have to have at least $300,000 in the bank cash available in order to do that because you will now be responsible for 20% of all of the charges and just the surgery alone, not including the anesthesiologist, they told me, was $180,000.